Well, good afternoon from Macau. It is lunchtime over here, so we're going to be sampling some Macanese street food. Yeah, we're just basically going to wander around and try as many tasty bites as we possibly can. So we kind of have a list of things we want to try here in Macau. Yes. And this wasn't on here. It wasn't so on the list, but we saw it. It looked nice interesting. Surprise. So what's this one? So this is an egg pudding, but I got the chocolate egg pudding. So Yeah, they also like green tea, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's like an egg. They've sliced off the top. I don't even know how you make this, to be honest. Like, do you shake the egg until it's creamy? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> we have no idea what this is, and that's what makes it so exciting. Mm. Well, it does not taste like boiled eggs, so that's excellent. It's really creamy. Look at that. Is it's it like is it pudding. sweet? Like how it? Yeah, it's literally like pudding. Okay. Maybe it's just like mm. pudding that's been put inside of the eggshell. Maybe that's the just the mm. preparation of it. Look. Oh wow. This is a mystery to me. No idea how it's made, but it is so delicious. Wow. I'm Sam. Sam doesn't like eggs, so he was like, no, I won't have one. <laughs> so you can eat it all You're then? You're missing out. Seriously. This is like chocolate pudding. So creamy, so smooth. Unbelievable. And how much was it? Mm, I paid, what was it, 13? 13 for the chocolate one, 11 for the plain one. So it took us a while to find a place that was serving pork chops this early, but we finally yeah, found Yeah, some of them one. were going to start serving until 2 p.m. 2 p.m. And it's around noon that. right now, so oh, <laughs> bummer. But we found finally found somewhere. And this this pork chop bun is one of the most popular uh, street foods you can find in Macau. Yeah. It's basically, oh, oh wow, you. here comes our tea too. Bubble it's tea. basically considered uh, a Macanese specialty. Uh -huh. And it's almost considered like uh, a Macau. Macanese hamburger. Yeah, right? Macau's take on a hamburger. So you've got your pork chop in the middle. Yeah. And then you have a crispy bun. Well, it's crispy on the outside and it's, it's supposed to be soft on the inside. So yeah. I'm, I'm dripping sauce all over the place. Time for me to just take a bite. It smells so good. We we ordered one to share because we're planning on sampling a lot of street food, but just smelling that over here, I'm like, mmm, mm. I could have my own. It's really good. Yeah. It's a nice cut of meat. A little bit fatty, but juicy. And the thing I really like about it is the bun. So this is getting a little messy. There's a reason why they gave us this paper bag and yeah, we decided to pull out the bun. Oil now we've got there. grease all over the table. Um, <laughs> let me just dig right in. Yeah, and guys, be careful. There is a bone on one of the sides. Yeah. I almost sunk my teeth into it and I came here to eat food, not to visit the dentist. So. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my gosh. Do you like that? Look at those colors. And the bread is so juicy. Yeah. Mm. The bread, is, to me, it, I mean, the meat is obviously really good, but it's the bread that, that really makes this. Do you like that? And to go along with the pork chop bun, we got a milk tea. I thought this was bubble tea, and it looks like bubble tea at first, but it doesn't have the pearls at the bottom. <laughs> it's just an ice, like, milky tea. It does look sugar. very milky. It has mm. that uh, milky looking consistency. Mm. Nice and sweet and so refreshing, so it's really warm out. Feeling satisfied. Yeah, it was a nice tasty little snack. And it was also cheap too. It only came to 27, so... Mm. Yeah, we're, we're still going to be eating a lot more today, don't worry. Well, the food adventures continue and just look at that color it is so yellow and oh just looks amazing next up we're having pastéis de nata and this is where you start to see the portuguese influence in macanese cuisine this is something that you find everywhere in portugal we had these when we were in lisbon there's a really famous shop um in belém and yeah these are really tasty <laughs> i've had these often I know. so let's <laughs> yeah. dig in so excited to be having them again mm. And the Macanese mm. take on it is really good. Mm. Really good. Look at that. 
It's like so custardy inside. Wow. And we got these from what is considered to be a famous place for them. It's called Lord Stow's. Lord Stow's, yeah. Yeah. It's not from the original shop, but it's mm -hmm. from one of the branches. And uh, yeah, we were just really lucky to bump into it. I'm so flaky. <laughs> the exterior, look at that. Can you see the layers there? It's like new furry. I know. It's so cheap too. Like, what are these, nine or something? Nine we paid each. nine each. My gosh. Just eat these all day. All day long. My turn. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to try this. Mm. You can hear the flakiness mm. when you bite into it. Oh my oh. gosh, it's so good. So flaky on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's so creamy and has like a pudding like texture on the inside. This is so good. And these, because um, you can also get egg tarts in Hong Kong. Yeah. These are more traditional, they're more. Um, Portuguese influenced, whereas mm. the ones in Hong Kong are definitely a bit different. They're they're they more like tarts. They're less yeah. flaky. You don't yeah. have you don't have this kind of the layer on the top. They they just look more yellow on the outside, and they're also a little more sugary. Whereas I would describe these ones in Macau as being more creamy and and the the pastry part of it being more flaky and buttery. Mm -hmm. They're so good though. I could just like I said, I could just be popping these in my mouth all day long. We have St. Paul's Ruins off in the background and Sam ready to sample more food. Yeah, so something you're going to find in Macau, well just about everywhere, especially around the St. Paul's Ruins, is you get this, this beef jerky that's for sale. Yeah. And you buy these big slabs and they cut it up for you, like there's just a huge amount here. So I'm going to try it. I think it's, I did sample this one, it was sweet. Is it beef or pork? That's mm. the question. So yeah, it's pork. Pork. <laughs> pork jerky. Mm. It's really nice. It's got like a sweet glaze on it. Kind of reminds me of um, if you've ever had a a cooked ham that's been cooked in like a like molasses maple or, syrup. or maple syrup or something like that. Very Canadian maple Ca syrup. Kind uh -huh. of kind of has that glaze that glaze type uh, sweetness on the outside, and it's nice meat. It's not unlike other jerkies I've had before. It's not as chewy. Um, it basically you just bite into it and the meat basically disintegrates in your mouth. So it's nice. It's uh, <laughs> we've got a lot. Look at that, <laughs> man. We're gonna be here for a while. So it is now my turn to try it, and this is actually the cheapest kind we saw at the shop. But you can get it with different glazes. There was one that had black pepper all over it. So let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You like that? You're right. It is like a sweet ham. Yeah. It's like a maple ham. <laughs> like an alternative Thanksgiving meal. It's really good. And mm. when you think we have like we have a lot more pieces left. Mm -hmm. So for 45, it's pretty good value. Check out how much we still have left. Hopefully we and can I, bring these on the boat. Yeah, I, I stuck it in another couple of pieces <laughs> while, while we were uh, you know waiting in between filming. So we still have a lot left. All right, Mr. Coco Legend, what did you find? So I have no idea if this is a traditional mac and snack, but we saw this uh, the sign that said they made handmade coconut ice cream, traditionally made. So mm -hmm. yeah. can't turn that down. Can't can we? turn that down. So oh and the best part about this, and I haven't even tried the food yet, is check out the spoon. The spoon. It looks like, like a, like a shovel. shovel. So yeah, I can shovel in. It's the ice like cream. shoveling snow. That's why you like it. You oh, can wow. Kind of does look like snow. <laughs> Look at that. Is it like a sorbet? I don't know. Let's try it. I wonder if it's more watery or more creamy. Mm. Mm. You really taste the coconut. Yeah. But it's not milky. It's um like a sorbet, would you say? Yeah, it's or a like bit a more, gelato. It's a bit more like a sorbet. Um, it's, it's you really sound good. so disappointed that it's not no, creamy. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not disappointed. Actually, it has a really, really strong coconut flavor, and you can tell that it's a natural coconut too. So it's actually really good. I find it more, it's more refreshing than it is thick. Mm -hmm. 
like a normal ice cream is kind of thick and heavy, but this is just refreshing, kind of light, with a nice coconut taste. Not too, not too sugary either, too. Just you know, a little bit of sugar added. Good stuff. Mm. Oh man. What do you think? What do you think? That's good. Yeah, it is good. It tastes very homemade. It tastes very it's natural. It's really natural. That's what I like about it. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't taste like it's any artificial ingredients. Traditionally made, they say, and I, I can see why. Mm. Really and good. You know huh? what? There's some pieces of shredded coconut in there. I'm like chewing on them. Yeah. That's really it has nice. has the real deal. It's real coconut. Mm. Gotta like that. trying to eat our way around the city here and it's starting to rain <laughs> today was supposed to be zero percent chance of precipitation and but with all these clouds I'm, what's happening? I'm actually surprised it didn't <laughs> rain earlier anyways we found our next snack and we're having almond cakes so check those out it looks really powdery and it actually has chunks of almond in it wow so let's and see. we saw these being freshly made mm. So it's mm. pretty amazing. That's why that's how we decided on the store. We're like, oh, they're making them right outside. Mm. So, how are those? Good. It's quite dry. It's almost like a chalky, like powdery texture. So if Wait. you're planning on having a few, you probably want tea or like some kind you of beverage nearby. Want a bubble tea? Mm. Want to have a bubble tea nearby? We did get a bubble tea actually. <laughs> that's next. That's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Really tasty. Kind of a nice like. Christmas tree. Almond for some reason it seems like a Christmassy ingredient. My turn to try one. <laughs> no, I eat the whole thing. <laughs> Man, that's gonna be like really dry in your mouth. Let's give Sam a few moments to chew. It was a bit of a mistake. Little bites with almond cakes, come on, mm. baby bites. They actually had mini almond cakes. We probably should have gotten those. They're like mini bite sizes. Because I can't control myself, right? Nope. <laughs> but yeah, they're really good. Like you said, it's powdery, mm -hmm. dry. Mm -hmm. Really tasty almonds. Um, it's sweet, but not overpowering. So yeah, makes a nice, uh, makes kind of a nice dessert. But yeah, that would go so well with tea. Yeah. And again, we got a, a big box, so we're gonna All try right. and take this back. So to that Hong was Kong. yeah, it was thirty-four. Um, we're gonna have a lot of snacks to eat when we get back yeah. to Hong Kong. Hopefully immigration so. doesn't mind. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Sam is now rocking a purple drink in his hand. Yeah. What could that possibly be? So we've had uh, bubble tea in both Taiwan and in Hong Kong. Yeah. But we haven't had it in Macau. Mm -hmm. And we haven't had taro before. So this yeah. is purple color. And you can see it still has the tapioca jellies at the bottom. Yeah. But time to try it. Mm. All right, so taro milk. What does taro milk taste like? <laughs> it's really sweet. It has uh, a bit of a creamy taste, and you can you definitely can taste the taro. It's uh, does it it's taste strong. like potato? Like potato milk? <laughs> a little bit. It still tastes a bit like tea, though, too. It's really good. Yeah, your turn to try this one for the first time. All right, I think this may be our last Macanese <laughs> street snack for today. I would hope so. It's probably like the eighth, seventh, or eighth. We've been eating dry, all day, so guys. We've been eating all day long, and that's allowed us to walk. Walk as much as we have. Mm. Isn't that good? It tastes like cereal milk. <laughs> that's a good way of describing yeah. it, actually. Like, you know, like the milk that's left at the bottom of your bowl and it's been soaking in all the sugar and yeah. like marshmallows when, and whatever. Like when you've had like there. Fruit Loops or something like that. Yeah. Or Honey Nut Cheerios. Lucky Charms. Wow. We we sure eat our healthy cereals, don't we? Mm. It's interesting. I think I still prefer my classic bubble tea. Um, it's just not bad milk. though. Regular milk. Yeah, it, it, was, yeah. it was only 20. It was only mm -hmm. 20 for that, so not bad. Not bad at all. All yours. Somebody couldn't resist. What have you been searching for all day? All right, I've been looking also for durian ice cream. So we tried coconut ice cream. That's a little tame. Let's go in for some durian. and. These right here are big chunks of durian and it smells just like durian. It smells as that toilet bowl smell. Toilet bowl? You know what? I love durian. Absolutely love it. I've even had it on a pizza in Thailand. So I know I'm going to like, let's go in for a bite. 
before it melts. Mmm, that durian is so good. Mm. Mm. Is that actually fruit? That looks like cheesecake. No, that's, that's the real deal. Mm. Wow. It's really good. I mean, if you like durian, you're gonna really like this. If you don't, you're gonna absolutely despise this. And it is dripping everywhere. It's dripping everywhere, <laughs> it's raining. Oh my god. It's raining, the ice cream's melting. All right, before you devour the whole thing, how much did it cost? How much was this your cost? This one was 30. 30, all right. No. So our Macanese food adventures are over. We came, we saw, we ate, we conquered. Like, we ate a lot of food. I think <laughs> we, we tried did. seven or eight different things. Yeah. None of it costs a lot. We're bringing a lot home, so. It's a great way to just kind of snack our way around mm -hmm. uh, around Macau all day long. All day long, <laughs> and the fact that we didn't sit down and wait in restaurants meant that we got to do a lot more sightseeing, we got to taste more food. Yeah. So I highly recommend this if you come here, just snack your way around Macau. It, you'll save money and you'll get to see a lot more.